Welcome back to the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Let's just quickly look at this. The interest rate that has been increased to 18%. However, the Monetary Policy Committee, that's the MPC of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, resolved by a majority vote to increase the monetary policy rate, the MPR, by 50 basis point to 18.0%. Now, as a result, the NPR is now at the highest level since November 20, uh, 2002, I beg your pardon, 18.5%. The voting pattern of members of the meeting shows that an uh, aggressive rate hike was entirely out of the conversation at the meeting as 10 members voted the increase or you know the raise by of the emperor by 50 basis point one member voted to increase the emperor by 25 basis uh, point and the remaining members actually voted to hold the emperor you know in that light now in the same vein the committee also voted to maintain other policy parameters at uh, current levels the asymmetric corridor around the emperor at uh, plus 100 bps slash minus 700 bps cash reserve requirement that's the crr at 32.5 percent and liquidity ratio at 30.0 percent now justifying this decision the committee according to the governor of the central bank of nigeria godwin amefili focuses attention not only on the inflationary uh, trends in most major economies but also on the reported impact of the policy rate hikes aimed at you know uh, the inflation or financial system stability in the global financial system uh, we, we just leave it at that and just have our guest join us this morning thank you so much Mukta Mohammed for joining us uh, he's a financial analyst right here in Lagos Mukta it's good to have you join us good morning so, I mean, let's get to the crux of the conversation. 18.0% or 18.05%. What does this mean to an average Nigerian? What it means to the average Nigerian is that your cost of goods and services might just go up because cost of borrowing has gone up. So if I'm, if, if I'm borrowing uh, and I've borrowed before now, or I'm borrowing again to, uh, to fund my business, uh, the cost of my payment of that uh, loan has gone up, so I will transfer that to my to my to my customers. <laughs> so, basically, in the layman language, what it means is that um, the cost of borrowing has gone up, and once the cost of borrowing goes up, the cost of goods and services also goes up. Talk about the cost of borrowing. Are we talking about uh, the commercial banks now? Uh, what exactly is it? Boring one-on-one -on -one borrowing. It's, what sort of boring? No, it's, of course, uh, it's, it's the commercial bank. Uh, that's where CBN regulates. Uh, we are talking about um, we are talking about deposit money bank. That's the minimum rate. I, 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 let me put it there. The minimum rate you can borrow is eighteen percent. So some banks could go. Uh, you know your other fees. Some banks could depend on your risks. Um, some banks go high. So definitely now, sometimes some businesses are borrowing up to twenty-two. 25 to 22 percent depends on the type of businesses. Uh, the only business that you see sometimes get at 18 percent are the most established ones that already um, have a pay degree. But most new business, because of their risks, they don't get that loan. At so, what it means is the minimum rate that you can borrow from any commercial institution is 18 percent. The, the president has, um, has said that uh, in today's papers, uh, that um, uh, is cautioning against uh, price hike as Ramadan begins today. Um, if you're saying that this tightening of the interest rates uh, could lead to price hikes, and the president is saying people should not increase their prices because uh, it's Ramadan, um, I don't know. How do we reconcile the two? Because government is yeah. one. <laughs> you know, the president is not a businessman, even if he has cows in his farm that is planning to go and stay there and uh, going to retire in his farm. So by the time he becomes a businessman, he will know that uh, he will not sell his product at the price when the, when the cost of, uh, 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 of, 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 of production has gone high. So he just tells you the type of president that we have. Are you trying to have control price? It's, it's based on market demands and supply. Unless you are saying that during the Ramadan period, they should just be giving people at the price as there is also they are not in the business of making money we need to be serious in this country and take the right decision and things work as planned you, you don't just have to say uh, to do this i'm trying to have a control price in a capitalism it doesn't work we are not practicing socialism here we are practicing capitalism and that's based on 
market forces, demands and supply. So it just tells you where our economy is, where it is today because of the kind of president we have. Mm. Okay, um, uh, well, let's talk about the fact that the uh, cash reserve ratio uh, seems to have been, uh, been maintained. What do you think is responsible for this? Just break that down for us very quickly, please. It has been maintained for a while, and um, that's a good thing. Um, that cash reserve ratio is the ratio that um, banks have to keep with CBN in terms of liquidity. And that has been there for a while. Most Nigerian banks are very liquid. Remember, they also have offshore offshore subsidiaries. So they've been very liquid, and that is good, especially when you look at what happened in the United States of America with the um, Signature Bank and Silicon Bank. Then you, you, you can't but help that the CBN have taken the right decision on the cash reserve ratio that has been there since. Uh, but what people keep saying, you can't be keeping cash reserve ratio and not be galvanizing the economy. And I think the CBN came uh, with policy that make sure that the banks normally borrow to the risk sector rather than keeping the money with CBN. So they meet it as a maximum amount you can keep with the CBN. And so just keeping it at that, uh, I think that is good for the system. It's very good for the system. So any challenges, um, especially in regard to short-time lending, they could also call for that cash. And I think it's a good policy. And uh, that has been there for a while, for a very long time. And they still keep maintaining it. No, but let's look at, you know, the increase where we have come from in recent times, 175 to 18%. And CB had stated that this was just supposed to help us keep inflation under control. But there's not been a decline that's been recorded. I'd like to ask why that is happening and what you make of it. I mean, the CBN governor also answered the question himself when he said that if you look at his, um, his press release, I mean, his press interview that day, he said that um, this policy is, is not going to bring down price immediately. Uh, I mean, tightening, it will not bring down price of goods and services, will not tame inflation immediately. That they are looking forward towards, uh, uh, because of the eventual removal of subsidy that could happen between now and June. So they are just planning ahead of it. So uh when you look at that inflation you look at um, what has happened the few for the for the few months uh, from especially from december to now uh what you see is um cbn has confiscated a lot of people cash that's what i keep saying they didn't mop up cash they confiscated people's cash because if you look at this the cbn uh, governor saying that they used to have about 2.2 uh, 2, 3.2 trillion in, in circulation and out of that they have reduced it to be to almost one to just 1.3 to 1.38 trillion and that is a reduction of about 235 percent in an economy that is cash driven and in an economy that the the, the informal sector which seems to be the engine of the economy is, is cash driven you see why we are we are suffering what we are suffering now at the moment it's not just because the cash is have just uh, uh, policy have also i mean uh, the cash shortage uh, or the policy that's been also cost them, um, uh, are also helped in heightening inflation because most goods now are selling high because most of the uh, people, especially in the informal sector, uh, most of the traders are, are putting prices on top of it because they have to pay for, for charges as regards the uh, uh, um, digital platform transfers. So definitely the, 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 the CBN has not helped its cost. Uh, we have cash shortage in what they have control over. And we have effects uh, um, um, shortage in what they do not have control over. And they have not ever tried to address the um, issue of uh, inflation. What they are doing is just copy and paste because America does it, UK does it, they just copy and paste. Nigerian greatest challenge that is foreign inflation is because of the exchange rate volatility, because most of the goods and services that we render in this part of the country are imported. And the Federal Bank has not been able to meet legitimate demands of these manufacturers. So they have to sort from through the parallel market at 745 or 750. And you don't expect them to sell at, at low when they have to sort out for those forms. So that is the issue. But the CBN has shied away from this issue for a very long time. And have also increased more pressure by also coming back with their cash uh, uh, cash policy, which has also not helped, cashless policy, which has also not helped um, the situation assistance. So, so definitely. Um, we, we, we will continue to swim in this work and by the time we remove the first subsidy without a commensurate palliative well, to guide against inflation, then we are going to have, maybe we are going towards a season of hyperinflation. All right then, hyperinflation 
uh, we just let it at that. <laughs> we'll continue that conversation some other time and what it will mean when the Nigerian economy moves to hyperinflation if we're not already experiencing that at the time. Thank you so much, Mukta Mohammed, for being part of the show. Good morning again. You know, some experts, thank you very much, Mukta. Some experts have said that, you know, increasing the interest rates amounts to double tightening because of the cash policies that we've had in recent times. Anyway, that's the size of our package. Please follow us on social media platforms at Plus TV Africa. On YouTube, we are Plus TV Africa and the Plus TV Africa Lifestyle will return tomorrow. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Ibuko. We join the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. Please stay with us. Good morning. <laughs>